This video is about problems involving three sets Venn diagram. Seventh graders, this is your virtual classroom. The following are some simple reminders to make your learning as smooth and easy as possible. Prepare a sheet of paper and a pen for answering the exercises. To make sure that you absorb the concepts in the video, pause and replay the video as needed. Now you are ready! At the end of this lesson, you are expected to solve problems involving three sets of Venn diagram. Are the two figures the same? The answers are yes and no. Yes, because they are both Venn diagrams showing set relations. And no, because figure one shows two sets while figure two shows three sets. When do we use figure one? We use figure one when we illustrate set relations or operations involving two sets. When do we use figure two? We use figure two when we illustrate set relation or operation involving three sets. This is a Venn diagram that illustrates three sets because there are three circles. Now let us practice solving set problems with three sets. Let's get started. 100 students are surveyed on their favorite colors, red, yellow, and blue. Now, based on the survey, the results show that 35 students like red, 40 students like yellow, 20 students like blue, 15 students like yellow and red, 18 students like blue and red, 10 students like all the three colors. This rectangle at the upper left represents our universal set with 100 students. Let us assume that R is for red, Y is for yellow, and B is for blue. Now, our circles here are overlapping circles, again representing red, blue, and yellow. There are many ways to solve or to fill out our Venn diagram. Now here is one of the ways. We know that the innermost part here, look at my mouse, represents the intersection of all the three colors. The red, the blue, and the yellow. Which means that students who like Red, blue, and yellow belongs to this part of the Venn diagram, which is 10. Very good. Now, this part between red and yellow, look at my mouse. I'm going to trace it, this one right here. This part right here represents students who like colors red and yellow. And how many students like red and yellow? There are 15 students who like red and yellow. And therefore, since we already have 10 here, we lack, that is right, we lack 5 so that it will be 15 for this part of the Venn diagram. Now here, this part of the Venn diagram are students who like both red and blue. So we know that 18 students like blue and red. And if there are 18 students who like blue and red, and we already have 10 here, we lack 8. Very good. The part that is in the reach of the red circle, here look at my mouse, which includes 8, 10, and 5, are students who like red. And we know that there are 
35 students who like red. So 8 plus 10 plus 5 is 23. 35 minus 23, we have 12 left. Now, we know that 40 students like yellow. And then again, the part that is in the reach of the yellow circle will represent the students who like yellow. So we already have 10 and 5, which is equal to 15. And if there are 40 students who like yellow, 40 minus 15, we have 25. Very good. Now, this time, we know that there are 20 students who like blue. And the part that is in the reach of the blue circle represents the students who like the blue color. And we already have 10 and 8, which is equal to 18. And so, 20 minus 18, we have 2 left. Very good. Now, adding all the cardinality inside the Venn diagram, we have 12 plus 5 plus 25 plus 8 plus 10 and plus 2. That's equal to 62. Now, what happens to the 38 students? Because we have 100 students who were surveyed. And for all the numbers or the cardinality within the red, blue, and yellow is only 62. So, where are the 38 students? Now, these 38 students represent those students who do not like either of the red or the yellow or the blue. And so, they must be placed outside of the three circles, but still inside of the universal set. Now, for the computation, check out this table. Again, that's our Venn diagram with red, blue, and yellow. And all the numbers are there. So red only, that will be 35 minus 10 minus 5 minus 8 is 12. 12 students like red only. Yellow only, 40 minus 10 minus 5. So 40 minus 10 minus 5, 25 students like yellow only. Blue only. So 20 minus 10 minus 8, so we have 2. Two students who like blue only. What about red and yellow but not blue? So that will be 10 plus 5 minus 10. So only 5 students like red and yellow but not blue. What about red and blue but not yellow? So we focus our attention on the red and blue. And then look at this 10. This 10 is in the reach of the yellow circle. Red and blue, but not yellow, is equal to 8. Only 8 students like red and blue, but not yellow. Blue and yellow, but not red. So let's take a look at this part of the Venn diagram. So this part here must be those people who like blue and yellow but not red. But take note that there's nothing in here. Therefore, nobody likes a blue and yellow but not red. And lastly again, for those students who like blue, red, and yellow, which is the intersection of the three circles, that would be 10. 38 of the students who do not like red, blue, or yellow. Also, 12 plus 8 plus 2 equals 20 students who like red or blue but do not like yellow. 12 plus 5 plus 25, 42 students like red or yellow but not blue. And 2 plus 25 students who like blue or yellow but not red. And there you have it. Now you are ready to answer activity 2.2. Now it's your turn. Read each problem carefully and answer the question that follows. There are 11 numbers to work on for activity 2.2. Each activity will have a problem set. 
and we'll have the Venn diagram that represents the number set. And of course, a question to answer. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven numbers to work on. Again, you can pause and replay this video as needed. And of course, please don't forget, submit your work on time. Good job! The number of circles depend on the number of sets represented by the Venn diagram. It could be two sets or it could be three sets. And of course, same rules apply in solving sets using Venn diagram. The number of sets involved do not matter. And now, here's what you can do. Take the challenge. Read and solve the given problems. Use Venn diagram to show the relationship among the sets. Please, don't forget to use a separate sheet of paper for your answers. So, we have two numbers to work on. Again, you can pause and replay this video as needed. And of course, you can visit and check out the other videos related to this topic. Congratulations! You just finished this module. Once again, this has been your teacher, Miss Mary-Kate. Get involved and keep on learning. <laughs>